happy Monday. I'm heading into work. I finished editing yesterday's, or I guess the last episode um, of Vlogmas yesterday, but I haven't actually like watched it through, so um, it should be up sometime today. Uh, anyway, I'll show you what I'm wearing before I head off to work. Okay, this is what I'm wearing. Uh, this is from Time, aka RW & Co. Pants are also from RW & Co. Um, this is the shoes that I'm wearing, which I've already packed up, which is uh, a block heel from L'Interval. It's a patent. I've decided to go patent today. Backpack to put all of my stuff in. I have to put my laptop and etc. in there. It's a bit easier to carry because I have a bunch of stuff I'm bringing into the office today. And what else? Um, I haven't decided what coat I'm going to wear yet today, but also I think I might have ruined one of my, well, my favorite coat from Uniqlo, which is like a, that really long black ultra light down is what they call it coat because I didn't realize you're not it's not machine washable and I threw it in the wash with some other coats the other day and now the down is like clumpy <laughs> so I even did the trick of putting um like balls in there to fluff everything up and all the other coats turned out fine but mine turned out really really bad so um, I'm not sure I I think it's only certain areas that are weird like the arms the body I think is okay but I looked on the website to see if I could buy that coat again and they don't carry it this season which makes me sad because I really really like that coat. It was like my favorite like all, well I would say all weather coat but pretty much like 75% of the winter season coat. So the days where it's like you just need a coat till you don't get wet but it's not like minus 20 out. So yeah, sad about that one. I managed to remember everything I was supposed to bring in today. Fruit tray, snacks for lunch, all of the gifts. And I have them in this little Ikea bag, which I have so many of, because they're super helpful. Hello, I am heading home. It's very sunny, so uh, I apologize if uh, <laughs> the video gets weird and wonky, color grading wise, because I am using my phone. And it is the new-ish uh, 14 Pro, that iPhone 14 Pro. So camera quality should be okay, but it is a front-facing camera. So it's definitely not as good as the back. But I am heading home. I, I'm actually heading to pick Chloe up first and then home. I have to drop something off at Pura later though. So we're gonna do that before we go home. It's an Amazon return that I am going to make. It's a... Uh, for my mom actually I told her I would drop it off for her and then we're gonna go home and have dinner and I'm not sure what we're gonna get up to but I do have a Pilates class tonight at 6 30 so I'm gonna do that uh, I'm curious to see whether Chloe had a nap today at preschool because on the weekend she had absolutely no naps she's uh, too cool for the naps I guess um, and it's like kind of around the time, I guess, maybe that kids start dropping a nap, like their whole nap. I mean, she's gonna be three in February, so I guess I'm not super concerned if she drops a nap as long as she has like an early-ish bedtime, because I still want her to get like lots of sleep, obviously, uh, but <laughs> it's actually been sort of nice. So on the weekend, when she didn't nap her usual 12 to two-ish, she actually was like so tired obviously by the end of the day that she went to sleep early so when she does nap her bedtime is like somewhere between 8 8 30 lately it's been a little bit after 8 30 so sometimes she like goes to sleep closer to uh, nine o'clock really so we put her down but she just like does whatever in her room until she passes out but on the weekend when she did nap she actually went to sleep at 6.30 the one day, 7 o'clock the next day. So the Bo and I had like an extra one and a half to two hours at the end of the evening, which we haven't been used to in a really long time. It's a, you know, kind of a quid pro quo, I guess. <laughs> so more time with her during the day where we're used to having a little bit of a break because she's very high energy and she, you know, is very talkative or having the extra time in the evening. So anyway. You could only understand this, I guess, if you're a parent. Otherwise, this whole ramble has just been like absolute nonsense to you. Okay, I successfully got Chloe. We just picked up some dry cleaning and uh, they gave her a little candy cane and she is loving it. Right, Chloe? Yeah. <laughs> 
you have a candy cane. Anyway, I just gotta pick up something at Shoppers Drug Mart and then we're going home. Good morning, it is Tuesday and uh, I'll show you my outfit this morning. Chloe and I are actually matching. Oh, let's show our outfits. <gasps> matching. Kangaroo. And kangaroo. Um, that's actually my Beanie Baby that my mommy bought me when I was a little girl. Um, but uh, this shirt is the one that Chloe is wearing is from Zara and she's wearing um, some fleecy pants from Carter's. The shirt I'm wearing is from H&M and I am wearing navy pants. Like me? Did you make a smoothie today? Yeah. What is it in? It's pink. It's pink. Wow. Okay, let's go get some. Okay, I am heading into work. <laughs> I'm all bundled up today because it's freaking freezing. Okay, we're home and Chloe's gonna open her advent calendar. Mom, Okay, this one? Mm -hmm. Oop. Whoa. Let's see what it is. Watch your head. Okay, open it and let's see which one it is. You open it. Which one does it match? That one. It, that's an elf. Hello. Um, it is uh, 8.30ish now. Um, I just put Chloe down for bed and I was going to get ready for bed also, but I thought I would quickly unbox what I picked up from Lululemon. It just arrived actually. And I backstory is when I first had Chloe, I didn't actually have a proper diaper bag. I was basically just using whatever tote I had and I kind of made a makeshift uh, diaper bag out of it. So I was using like one of the Kuyana totes, um, the Longchamp tote. I think I had like another Lululemon tote that I would use. And I just always thought to myself, you know, if I kind of figure out what I need, what I'm gonna bring, things like that, then I will go and invest into in a proper like diaper bag. I had a couple of like diaper bag style inserts, but never a proper diaper bag. And turns out I never needed it because of COVID and most of the time we weren't going anywhere and if we were going somewhere, it was such, such a short trip that I didn't need to like pack half of Chloe's things in a bag. Um, but this time around, I, Hopefully, I'm very confident that there's not going to be uh, lockdowns as like they were when I had Chloe. So I thought I would uh, pick up a proper diaper bag because I'm hoping that I can actually go to some like mommy and baby classes um, with our new baby and uh, you know, maybe we'll go on like outings at the park and things like that. So I figured I would get a proper diaper bag. Anyway, I saw one at Lululemon, which you'd think is uh, probably the last place that you would find a, a diaper bag, and they don't actually call it a diaper bag, they call it a parent bag, which I feel like I like the name of that a little bit more than a diaper bag. A diaper bag means, makes it seem like it's this one specific thing to like hold all of your diapers, but a parent bag makes it seem uh, much fancier, doesn't it? It makes it seem like it's just like this all-in-one thing. So, oops, this is it. It only comes in one colorway. I can't remember exactly the price of this. I mean, it wasn't inexpensive uh, by any means. So, um, I'll just, uh, I'll put it up on the screen. Um, I'll look it up. But this is how it looks. So, it's quite large. I believe it's like a 17, is it 17 liter? Yeah, it's a 17 liter backpack. So this is a very soft exterior. Um, this is my first impression. It's only available, this bag is only available online. So this is the first time I'm actually seeing it in person and feeling it in person. So these are like my first, first impressions of it. Um, the, the material itself feels quite soft. It's apparently water repellent and uh, the fabric is abrasion resistant which is, I guess, is good if you have uh, kids, um, but it's quite smooth. Just based on feel, I I couldn't tell you uh, what the longevity of this and durability of this is. It has a top pocket here, which is maybe like for a phone or something. It's not very deep, it's just like a little sleeve. I don't know where my phone is, otherwise I would show you. 
for the most part it looks just kind of like a backpack but there's obviously some aspects of it that make it more of a parent bag so one would be here these uh clips here actually undo and you can supposedly again i've never tried it because i just i just opened it today but this you can actually undo and clip onto a stroller handle um, if you don't want to put it on in the undercarriage you can actually you know put that there it does have the little strap on the back here for uh, if you're you know traveling with this so you can slide it in the luggage handles the top part the zippers feel nice there's a lot of paper in here so the top part opens very generously which I like I like to be able to see everything that I'm carrying all at once so back here you could probably put a laptop so if you you know want to get this for the future but you don't have a kid or you're not planning to have a kid anytime soon you could probably just use this as a regular backpack which maybe i'll do um because i do like how yeah you open everything and you can see everything right away this is unique in the sense that it's like a two-in-one situation so it actually comes with a separate cross body bag which you, I guess you could keep it inside the bag, but it also takes up space. But this has, it's supposed to be sort of like a on-the-go changing kit. So you could put like maybe an extra pair of clothes in here, a, a few diapers, some wipes. Because this is where the, wait for it, changing pad is. So it just unfolds really nicely a black color which is good I guess <laughs> and yeah it's just like a nice little compact changing mat that you can slip in this little carrier and inside so the combo color combo here is black and khaki so this the inside is khaki which I actually really like it's a lot easier to see things when it's a light interior as opposed to like an all black interior so there's um a little compartment in here where you can just I don't know put like diapers or clothes and things like that there's a zipper here where you can put more things maybe wipes I'm not sure how many wipes you could really fit in here it'd have to lay flat so you wouldn't be bringing like a whole package of them but this can be used like a little crossbody bag so yeah if you are um, just want something quick to take into you know, a bathroom or to change your child somewhere uh, that's a little bit inconvenient. This is perfect because you can just put it around and then everything's here and nice and easy. So I'd like to say that contributed to the price, but there you go. Uh, this is how it looks without the crossbody bag in there. So there's a lot of pockets mesh pockets like I said there's like this really deep pocket which you could probably put like a laptop in I'm gonna guess maybe not a 16 inch MacBook Pro but definitely a 14 inch I will say that uh, it doesn't look like this has an insulated compartment so if you're bringing milk with you um, it doesn't have an insulated slot for that and then it has the front pocket here which just has this big mesh compartment um, on the side, you have space for probably a water bottle. So there's like two deep pockets on the side where you could put, uh, I don't know, an umbrella, water bottle, things like that. That's pretty much it. Um, so yeah, like I said, you could definitely probably use this as a regular old backpack. Um, you know, just by looking at it, it doesn't scream, obviously, your traditional diaper bag. So I'm excited for it, I guess. Uh, maybe I'll actually use it uh, for work in the meantime. I'm sure it would fit my laptop and my lunch and stuff in there. For the most part, it feels pretty nice. It's actually quite a light bag. The current bag I'm using for work is the one I bought from Madewell, which is the leather rucksack, which I really, really love, but it does feel sometimes a little bit heavy. It's actually still relatively a light backpack, but I mean, leather in general, it's just a little bit more dense than whatever nylon fabric this is made out of. Anyway, that is my first impression of the uh, Lululemon Parrot backpack. Okay, before we call it a night, we have to open today's advent calendar, which is 
13. Karastas. This is the Elixir Ultime. I, it's been a while since I've actually used this, so I'm excited to use it. Good morning and happy Wednesday. I am um, getting ready for work. I'm actually already dressed, so I'll show you what I'm wearing today. So I'm just wearing um, a black top from H&M, pants are maternity pants from Old Navy, and this blazer is not maternity, it's RW & Co. As you can see, I can not close it. <laughs> I'm going to also wear heels, but I've already packed that in my bag. I don't have a lip product because I always forget it's always in my bag, which is downstairs, and it's just, I always just end up putting it on when I'm just about ready to leave, but that is what I am wearing today. Hello, I'm home from work. Um, it was a very busy day at work today, uh, but I'm home, I'm tired. Chloe and I are playing in the basement, we had dinner, and Chloe is uh, making me some snacks. Right, Chloe? So bad. You can cut me so bad. It's so short. Yeah. Don't. 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 Don't knock okay. it over. Okay. okay. Don't knock my kitten over. I won't. Listen, I'm my... a good baby. This one is for you. Oh, thank you, mommy. I'm gonna take it on your view. Oh, thank you. And this, this one is for you too. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna cut you some some pussy pepper. Don't eat the pepper. Is oh. it spicy? Yeah. Yeah. It makes your tongue so pussy. Okay, mommy won't eat it then. You're a baby. Oh, I'm a baby. I forgot. Sorry, baby won't eat the spicy spicy pepper. Only, only my dad. Oh, okay. And, and you and mom eat it's yummy. See the seeds? Don't eat the seeds, babe. Okay. Because they will hurt your tummy. Okay, thank you, mommy. So, so I'm going to put this pepper right here. Don't eat the pussy. Uh, oh, Whoops. my plate is so full. I won't eat the spicy pepper, I promise. Okay. I'll put it right here. Excellent. Yummy. It's, it's not ready. Okay. I need, to, I need to take it in the oven. Okay. Okay. I just put uh, Chloe down. Uh, we had a lot of fun um, playing in the basement. Uh, I did my nighttime routine, so that's why my face looks super shiny. What did I say about Thursdays being the boring vlog? Because it's just basically me going to work most of the week and then trying to show some footage at the end of the day. I'm trying to even think back at what exciting thing happened that I could title this vlog. Probably the diaper bag. I guess that's what we're gonna title this uh, this vlog this episode. Um, but before I go, let's open today's advent calendar. Always something to look forward to is the advent calendar at the end of the day. Uh, we are on day 14. I had to double check because I don't know what day of the week it is. Oh, a Kate Somerville. I actually just used up uh, another sample, actually no, it's probably slightly bigger than this, of the Kate Somerville. Um, I found it a little bit irritating on my skin near the end, but yeah, I'm willing to give this another go anyway. Okay, so that is it for me. Uh, tomorrow is Thursday. I'm, I think I've decided I'm going to work from home tomorrow, and uh, Friday is my compressed day, so I'm going to do a couple of errands. But with that said, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.